Hey guys, I'm Jessica for University TV and this is Tommy the Titan and today we're taking a tour of the University of Detroit Mercy. This is the largest Catholic school in Michigan. So Tommy, can you point me in the right direction of where to start this tour? That way, sounds good. High five. University of Detroit Mercy is located in the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. In downtown Detroit, there's Lions games, football games, Tigers games, hockey games. Um, as well as just a few miles away, there's Ferndale and Royal Oak, which are both up and coming cities. Our students have a huge advantage because they have so much access to all of the top businesses located uh, in the area. Our students definitely can do a lot of co-ops and internships, which um, makes our school very different uh, in the program. I think you get lots of exposure um, firsthand, especially like within the first year. Pre-dental students are shadowing dentists, we're shadowing physician assistants, and pretty much anyone who's in a program, or even outside of programs, they're already getting exposure, at least with going to hospitals, shadowing, or working in a hospital um, through volunteer programs. So I think that they really give you the opportunity to get that exposure and to really know if this is what you want to do. The university dates back to 1877 and is sponsored by the Jesuits and the Sisters of Mercy. We are committed to social justice as part of the mission of our university. And it's actually in our mission statement that we're, that we're helping students integrate their intellectual, social, ethical, and spiritual development for all of our students. Today we're on the 75-acre McNichols campus which is one of the three UDM campuses in Detroit and is the campus with the most undergraduate and graduate programs. We have something called Prologues, Transitions, and Viewpoints, which is like a week-long orientation before school starts. So you get to know kids already. So on the first day of school, you have some familiar faces in your class. The people are what make this place. I mean, you walk across campus and you have to leave five minutes earlier, you know, just so you can talk and say hi to everyone. Um, everyone's been great here. I've had great time. You know, my roommates have become my sisters. As a selective institution, certain programs require higher admission requirements and the university recommends a college prep high school curriculum. The University of Detroit Mercy is a private institution with an annual undergraduate tuition of about 39000 Ninety-two percent of undergraduates receive financial aid packages. In fact, last year, UDM designated $56 million in institutional funds for student scholarships and grants. University of Detroit Mercy offers more than 100 academic degrees and programs. UDM has achieved national and international recognition for its School of Architecture. Its graduates receive the highest overall passing rates of any School of Architecture in Michigan on the Architect Registration Examination. Nursing is also considered one of UDM's strongest programs. Did you know that First Lady Michelle Obama actually gave the nursing and engineering students a shout out for their design of assistive devices for those with disabilities? Tomo arigato, Mr. Ribato. The Robotics and Mechatronic Systems of Engineering is one of only five in the nation and it focuses on an industry that's in great demand. The university's robotics team has placed first three times in the International Intelligent Ground Vehicle Competition. The University of Detroit Mercy has always been a forerunner. Uh, in my program, the Intelligence Analysis Program, we were the very first graduate program in intelligence analysis in the country. We were also the very first security administration program. Uh, we have a center of excellence from the National Security Agency as it relates to information assurance. So we're always on the cutting edge. We provide training for federal agencies such as the FBI and the NSA. Uh, we work on actual cases. We offer consulting reports as well as assistance for open cases, cold cases, uh, kidnap situations, terrorist attacks. I walk around campus and I recognize students from former classes, we have conversations. It feels like the conversation begins in the classroom and then never ends until graduation. And one thing I love about being at this school is that all of the faculty members are at graduation and we all um, are so excited to see our students cross the stage. The Titans compete on 19 NCAA Division I athletic teams in the Horizon League. Basketball is personally my favorite. There's the Callahan Hall just over there. It's great. Um, the whole school gets involved. People paint their bodies, you bring posters, pom-poms, the clapper things, it's great, it's so much fun. Everybody's cheering. I'm proud of 
the women's basketball team for winning the WBF. You're proud of the men's basketball team for, you know, or Doug Anderson for winning the dunk contest. Just all of those little individual successes really helps us build as an athletic department. Students can also join rec sports and play in this brand new fitness center, which has an elevated three-lane track, a group exercise room, a student lounge, and a smoothie bar. Choose to live in one of the six resident halls on campus. Pricing varies depending on the hall. Scheifel is for freshmen only. There are more than 65 clubs and organizations at UDM. You can voice your opinion through the Student Government Association or get involved in student life through Greek fraternities or sororities. It's kind of like a hidden gem in Detroit because not many people have heard of this school, but there are so many opportunities. I mean, I can't imagine myself going anywhere else. Well, now that the tour is over, I can kick back here at Grounds Coffee House, which has live bands, comedians, and poets throughout the week. Thanks for checking out my tour of the University of Detroit Mercy. I'm Jessica for University TV, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!